Well, good morning. And today we're going to have a look at this item here. This is the fuel tank from a one of them. Lichter Ladon Straga SDKFZ 303. It's a Goliath. It's the fuel tank off a Goliath. Uh, this is in as dug condition. This came out of Eastern Europe. And we're going to take a quick look at it. So there's going to be some bits maybe flake off just because it's in such poor condition despite attempts to put some stabilizer on the rust. But at the bottom here we're at 70 millimeters and at the top we're at about 120 millimeters. Height, despite the fact it's been crushed, I mean it's only sheet steel, we are looking at do you reckon I have about 150 millimeters, 15 centimeters? So I can make a 3D model of that to go along. We have some fairly thin steel. I don't have a my gauge measure to hand the second. I'll have to go grab that. Assuming this is the top here, which it does appear to be, we have a circular opening. There's definitely a flange pressed in there, and we're about 65 millimeters for the opening. And I would have to guess that's right in the middle of the top of the tank. And the only other notable feature is this unusual rectangle right here. The side of it is actually on this piece of steel. You can see it's being blasted open from when the vehicle detonated. All was blown up. So we have a rectangular opening, but 120. By, oh goodness me. Uh, that's definitely not 30. I'm gonna say 28. So at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the 3D net of this that I make. Net, excuse me, 3D model of this that I make. This is kind of interesting here. At the end, we have a, a pressed seam in it, measuring from the end here, 12 millimeters in, and the seam is six millimeters wide. So this is it's like a machine pressed seam to attach this piece into the end. So if this, this is obviously all one continuous piece around the body. And here we can see how it's been made and that this has been rolled together. Let me hold it up to the camera. You'll be able to see both. Just where the tip of the pencil is there. You can see both ends of the, the steel sheet have been pressed together over on this edge where it's been damaged the least it looks just like they're being pressed together it's hard to see if it's been welded or not but i'm assuming that's been welded together and obviously this side has been ripped apart so that gives us a, a look inside here and that unusual seam that we saw before indicates that this is all made out of one piece of steel. So on this side here, I'll have one piece of steel coming round and then we've got to decide where the seam, oh, and look, there it is. There's the seam right there. So this back piece, as long as the rest of the body is one piece, this is the same piece here and then it's been seamed all the way up and around here and around the top. What a clever little bit of manufacturing. So this fuel tank is made out of one piece of steel. Um, one has to assume that this uh, feature and this feature 
were stamped out of it prior to it going into the machine being folded and being seamed. Unfortunately, I'm missing this section of the fuel tank. So we'll have to turn to um, historical drawings, etc., to discern what that is. In terms of attachment, how this was attached into the vehicle, uh, just going off camera there. This whole side here has been uh, removed in the original explosion and through rust. This side, however, remains intact. This is obviously not the same piece of steel, but we have a very simple metal flange welded on with a nut and bolt arrangement. And just looking at the washer there, that, that's a spring washer that's rusted in. So, as I said, this is in the non-restorable category. Um, part of me wants to try and unbend this as best I can. I know I'm going to suffer a lot of loss of bits of metal. As it is, it's kind of useless. We can get the measurements from it and then we can make a new one. Uh, at the end of this video, I will post you a link of what I believe this looks like. Minus this area, which I have to just assume is uh, solid at the moment. Thank you very much. Well, that's it for now. I hope you found this uh, look at a rather minor part of a vehicle quite interesting. If this works, I'll be doing more of these and we'll be modeling parts of my Goliath one piece at a time. Thank you very much for your time. If you do like my work or my videos, my books, that sort of stuff, please feel free to uh, click on the links below. There's a link to my Patreon page or follow me on Amazon and on my Facebook page. Thank you very much.